Tonight, another side to the delivery dilemma congesting Manhattan streets. Small trucking companies delivering some of the millions of packages people order from the Internet. These trucking companies blocking bike lanes, sidewalks, and illegally parked. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has the story. They pulled their box truck into an illegal parking spot on West 55th Street and began to unload a mound of boxes from Amazon, just a small percentage of the estimated 1.5 million Internet orders delivered every day to city residents. The workers for Perez Transportation came with a collection of hand trucks and proceeded to use the sidewalk to sort hundreds of packages, using public space as their private warehouse. Neighbors say they've been using this spot for over a year. CBS2 cameras watch as pedestrians people with baby strollers, people with dogs, even pizza delivery men had trouble navigating. I think it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. They need a permit. But they don't have a permit, not that the city would give them one, because according to the Department of Sanitation, under city regulations, sidewalk areas must be kept free from any obstruction that could impede pedestrian traffic. And they're also doing something else that's a no-no, blocking the bike lane. We watched as many, many bikers were forced out of the bike lane and into traffic. I asked one of the workers if they had a permit. Nothing to say, nothing to say. I called several city agencies about the growing problem. The Department of Transportation says it's trying to cope with the problem by adding no standing anytime zones and installing markings to further delineate the no standing anytime zones. Ironically, the West 55th Street location used by Perez Trucking is in Council Speaker Corey Johnson's district. Curbside space is a valuable commodity, and our policies need to reflect that instead of the needlessly chaotic situation we're currently dealing with, said a spokesman. Johnson, who has a massive street redesign plan on the drawing board, said at a press conference last week that the plan would be expanded. We're going to also, I think, look to do a bill on these deliveries that we're seeing across the city as well. Well, after I called the police department, officers from Manhattan North showed up and made the truck move to a legal spot and stashed their packages. They gave them a warning telling them the next time they would get a ticket. Last year, FedEx, Fresh Direct, Peapod, and UPS alone got over half a million parking violations, $27 million in fines. We hope they paid that, too. Thank you, Marsha.